Whilst the ship was in service, there was a crew of about 250 uh, Royal Naval personnel, um, from officers down to junior rates. Uh, the ship is 126 metres long, or in old money that's 412 feet, and she weighs 5,860 tonnes. In terms of the amount of rooms on board the ship, uh, I really couldn't tell you, but there's about seven or eight decks, and average, I would say there must be at least 40 rooms per deck, so it's, uh, there's an awful lot of rooms on there. There was guys on here that would work in the laundry, they would be mechanics, they could be seamen, they could be chefs or stewards, so the, the jobs vary, but uh, on board there was about four or five different branches, so you'd have the marine engineer mechanics, they would look after the engines, you'd have the electricians obviously look after the electrics, the stewards look after the officers, you'd have the chefs to look after the ship's company, the seamen to look after the ship, so it just goes on. Talking to the the guys that served on board at the time, the, the majority of the ship's company actually enjoyed the visit of the Queen Mother the most. I think she was she she seemed to be more down to earth with the rest of the crew, and she spent a lot of time with the crew. Uh, so I, I think she was definitely the favourite. It, this is the unwinding room where the uh, junior rates basically unwind after a long hard day in the sun. Um, basically it's just like a bar, it's, it's a bar and uh, you get about 150 people in here sometimes and it's not that big as you can see so it's uh, this is one of the favourite places and it, this was visited by all the members of the royal family I believe at one, one time or another including uh, Princess Diana. Well the, the royal family only actually used it uh, as a permanent base when, when they're on holiday on the west coast of Scotland for two weeks out of every year. Apart from that, they would, uh, the ship would sail to the exotic places around the world, around uh, Australia, America, the West Indies, and the royal family would use that as a base where they would entertain um, VIPs from, from those countries. Some of the guests on here would range from maybe 10 up to maybe 300, 400 guests at any one time. Um, even to this day, we still host events on here for 200, 300 people. So it's, uh, it's fairly big inside. She has uh, diesel engines, uh, they push her through the water at roughly uh, 22.5 knots and at that speed the ship could travel about 2,000 miles with a full tank of diesel. I actually uh, moved on board, I actually walked on board while she was in commission and the things I saw then are exactly the same things that I, I've seen now so there's no difference at all. Everything that, uh, that our visitor sees is as it was basically. In fact, if you go in the laundry, there's a list of names in the laundry that have been up there since 1997 when she was decommissioned of uh, the guys that were actually working in the laundry at the time and what they'd taken their tea and coffee. And that's never been moved. The actual masking tape holding it in place is the same masking tape as what, the, what it was when they put it there in 1997.